All right. So I'm sitting here at the shop waiting for them to call me in. I'm just getting my APU worked on. At the moment, I got some other things to take care of. But I wanted to get on here and talk about something that I find very important in this industry. And what that is, is discipline, right? Now, we're going to push aside the discipline that pertains to doing the job, you know, like your time management and stuff like that. We all know about that and that's something we could talk about a little bit later but discipline as far as your personal life goes is what i wanted to discuss mainly sexual discipline because a lot of these cats out here that i know or that i've seen or that i'm aware of don't have any of it now this is for the men right i ain't gonna speak for the women y'all figure that out amongst yourselves but the men right now you understand that being able to exercise sexual discipline is one of the ultimate forms of discipline that you can do not only that but it is one of the most beneficial to your life to exercise you see what I'm getting at see you I'll tell you a little story right so I come up to the terminal of the company that I'm leased on with go up the road give me a nice hotel room of course i don't i ain't do no basic room i went and got myself a executive suite so of course you got the big old mirror right there mirror here sink coffee maker another sink wine glasses bed excuse that tv on this side couch over here table another chair tv on that side so you know you can Sit perched up if you want to. Watch a little something, something. Should I might just do that after this. And you go over here, hit the bathroom. Just a little bit of a mess because I, I was just up in here using everything. They got a TV in the freaking mirror. Toilet, of course. Don't ask me about the bubbles. I use way too many of them, but screw it. Rain shower head. <laughs> This place is quite nice, quite nice. nice room. One of my homeboys makes a comment. He says, yo, it's whack if you buy yourself. You need to get some girls up in there. Okay, I'm not hating, but here's the thing. I went and got that room specifically for myself. It's not about bringing no chicks or nothing like that up in there. Though, I ain't gonna say it would be nice. I'm just not worried about it. It's about the ambiance of it. It's about the energy inside of it. You see, I view myself as a high quality individual. And so everything I do reflects that. Down to the hotel rooms, the type of food that I eat, the kind of restaurants that I go to. It's all about matching what I view is inside of here. I project that outside. Now, here's the thing. I could have went and got the room just to impress some chick, bring her up to the hotel or whatever. She look at the room. Oh my gosh, this looks so expensive. Yes, it is. And now she butt naked doing all kinds of tricks. Yes, I could do that. Am I going to? Absolutely not, because I'm here with a goal. I'm here on a mission. I'm here to get this repair done. I'm here to get a DOT inspection. I'm here to get an oil leak fixed. I'm here to get things done. And so I'm not going to invite any type of energy that could potentially knock me off my square, distract me, and then I have to leave and go make more money. And now I have these problems that could compound and turn into bigger issues, which would cost me more money down the line. But while I'm getting this stuff done, I'm going to do for myself what I want to do. I'm not gonna settle for less. Yeah, I could've went and got me a, a regular cheap hotel room and nothing like that, it's just me. Could've done that, but why would I if I don't have to? And I have the ability not to. I have the ability to stay away from people who do not understand the importance of class. Who can't wrap their head around the ideology behind it. Why would I do that to myself? 
I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I don't believe I'm better than anybody. But on that same note, I do treat myself better than most people do. And I have no shame in that. What I want for you guys to understand is when you get out here and you make the money and you're responsible with it, you do what you're supposed to do with it. You're not just screwing it off at strip clubs and alcohol and, and going home stunting on your friends or whatever, which admittedly I'm guilty of doing. <laughs> when I first got into this, I went home and I spent you know, a few thousand dollars. I did that one time. Never again, like I'm very stingy and stubborn about what I spend my money on and I want it to benefit me to a degree. I'm not about to just do for other people because I'm not doing this for anybody else but myself. You get where I'm coming from? I don't got no kids or wife or none of that. And so the efforts that I'm putting in is specifically for me. And if I choose to do something for somebody else, then that's my choice. But ultimately, this ain't about nobody but me. I have zero desire to go out for months on end just to go home or take any amount of time off for any reason and do anything to impress anybody because I'm already impressed with myself. I don't need the gratification or, or validation from anybody because I'm already self-validated. It makes absolutely no sense for me to go out and spend $200 a night on a hotel room for the sole purpose of sexual escapades. That to me is beyond stupid. That's beyond stupid. And I'm not mad, I'm, I might seem a little bit upset. I'm not upset at all. I'm speaking this way to get the point across. You have to exercise sexual discipline when you are out here. You're out here with a purpose. You have to understand why it is that you're doing what you're doing. Why are you get in this truck every day and drive 600 miles? Why you're away from your friends and family at home? Why you drive through bad weather? You know, snowstorms, thunderstorms, high winds, with an 80,000 pound behemoth. You have to understand why it is that you're doing what you're doing and don't let anything take you away from that purpose. This is my mentality behind it. When I'm in this truck, this is for business. This is for money. Anything that is associated with said truck, this is about business. This is money. When I'm in this environment, I am not concerned with anybody but me and gold phoenix that's the only thing i'm concerned with everything extra can go i could do without now when i do go home what i do is what i do you know what i'm saying if i want to go out and drink and, and smash on a couple chicks not that you know i'm not saying i'm gonna talk about it because i won't what i do in my personal life is what i do in my personal life right? don't nobody got to know about none of the stuff that i do but that's when i'm off that's when i'm not concerned with work but when I'm doing this, this is what I'm focused on. There's a separation between what I might do with whoever in relation to what I do for work. You cannot mix the two and you shouldn't mix the two. It makes absolutely no sense to because the second you mix them, you knocked off your square. Money started looking funny. Next thing you know, you got six grand missing from your bank account. Don't remember what you done did with it because you spent the money trying to impress some chick. Forget that. Let me tell you something. This on some man stuff, right? A lot of you cats wouldn't talk this type of stuff because a lot of y'all wasn't raised with a freaking father. So I'm going to say it. As a man, I am not defined by my ability to go out and chase women. I'm not defined by my ability to go out, sweet talk a chick or whatever, and get her back to the nice hotel room so I could smash. I'm not defined by that. What defines me as a man is my ability to produce results. What defines me as a man is my ability and proven track record to face hardship and come out on top every time. 
to look danger in the face and not shake from it. To welcome it fearlessly. That's what defines me as a man. What defines me as a man is that the women that y'all chasing recognize the fact that when they want to get something done, they look at me. Knowing that if you associated with me, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Because no matter how hard it is, I'm going to find a way to make it work. That's what defines me as a man. What defines me as a man is that every challenge that has come my way, I've conquered with grace. Things that probably should have broke me, didn't. And I'm still here to tell the stories to this day. What defines me as a man is the fact that I don't have to chase women because when they recognize the caliber of individual I am, they have no choice but to respect it. And then they become naturally attracted to it. What the heck do I have to chase you for when my existence draws you to me? You see what I'm saying? And this is and this the funny thing. Some of the cats that I have spoken to, they got to flex it. Oh, man, I'm talking to this chick or whatever. Y'all don't know what I'm doing. You have no idea. Because I don't tell anybody. That stuff I keep under wraps. Who I'm dealing with. For all y'all know, I got an old chick sitting in the back of the truck at any given moment. Y'all don't know. I could pull up and freaking... North Carolina, Georgia, somewhere and be dealing with a little something, some Texas. I don't know. You have no idea. The states that I take time off at. I'm just saying. But see, I don't kiss and tell. So that's why people think, oh, uh, um, yeah, you just lame or whatever. No, no. I maintain their privacy and mystique. I maintain my own privacy because like I said, I don't mix business with pleasure. And I don't mix, you know, my personal or intimate life with my friends. Forget that. Nobody needs to know anything for real. Brings me back to what I just said, sexual discipline. All it is, is a distraction. It's time consuming. It zaps your energy. The energy that I have and maintain needs to be put forth to produce results. It needs to be put forth to get things done at the end of the day. Because as I said, that is what defines me. I need to get things done. I have this goal. That needs to happen. I see this. I want that. I have to have it. I have to do what I have to do to maintain this so that I'm able to obtain the things that I want, to go to the places that I want to go, to do what I want to do. I do what I have to do so I can do what I want to do. And I think being able to adopt a similar mentality can help anybody out in this industry because most of these truck drivers out here, they don't think that way. They get out here, you know, lease a truck, and they see a $2,500, $3,000 check and immediately want to stunt. Immediately want to go to clubs and, and bars and, and buying cars and all kinds of crazy stuff. And I'm not going to judge nobody. I ain't going to tell you, another grown man, what you can and can't do or what you should and shouldn't do. What I'm saying is, don't come to me and criticize my lifestyle because I don't reflect you. Because what it all falls down to is you wanting other people to do what it is that you do so that you feel as if you're right. And any man who has to maneuver that way knows that they're dead wrong. I'm 100% secure in everything it is that I'm doing. And I talk about it sometimes because I honestly do want to help people. But whether you do it or not doesn't change the fact that I know for a fact I'm correct in what I do. I know I'm right. And there's nobody out there on the freaking planet who can tell me I'm not. 
The only people that can critique me are people that I have respect for. And it takes time to earn that from me. I don't just give that to anybody. But these regular pedestrians out here, I'm not concerned with what you gotta say. And the whole point of this video is to say, if you think in a similar manner to me, don't worry about none of these people. People are gonna talk. No matter what you do, somebody's always going to have something to say. It doesn't mean you're right, it doesn't mean you're wrong, but what it means is you're willing to do what it is that you need to do for yourself. You're doing the right thing for you and your life. And that's admirable. Keep going and growing. And that's it for this video, man. As I always say, be happy, stay blessed. And don't be afraid to make drastic changes in your life because it might end up being the best decision you've ever made. I'm Gold Phoenix, and I'm out.